Hey Susan, want to make a quick walkthrough video to show you how this is done in Make. So in Make, there's these things called scenarios um, and you set up a trigger and then an action. It's really similar to Zapier, um, but it's a little more capable in my experience. And so it's pretty simple um, to build the concept that you're looking for. Obviously, if you have more details or variations, it might become a little more complex. Um, but just the basic premise, um, there's a watch CRM objects trigger here um, that can run on a schedule at regular intervals. Um, and basically, all you have to do is configure that for deals and then have the trigger as updated. And then you can filter by properties. And then something like close date, having a property value would be something that uh, triggers off of deals that are one. Um, you can use some other fields as well, including the deal stage. Um, so it really just depends on what your preferences are. I'm going to click OK. And so when that triggers um, on that schedule, if it finds any deals that have been closed, there's the duplicate a project in Asana, which is the best way to, to basically duplicate a template um, as another project. And you can configure various things. If you, if you have a static workspace and project template that you want to duplicate, then you'll just configure these. Otherwise, you can get fancy with it and end up mapping it um, in case you have like variables stored in HubSpot for whatever reason. And then you just fill out each of these fields. And so for this one, I just put the deal name taken from the trigger um, as the name of the project. And it's just going to be duplicating this test project that I created for this walkthrough. And then you can choose what's included in the duplicate project. Um, I don't have any teams for this test instance. But if you wanted to put a team ID in there, you could. And you can even configure things like the start on dates, the due dates, and stuff like that. Now, let's say you want to get fancier with it. You can add these things called, whoops, you can add these things called routers. Let me delete this. I messed up there. So you add this thing called a router. And then basically, you can filter based off of criteria from the trigger. So let's say that you have specific project templates that you want to duplicate. Then what you can do is you can set up these different paths here. Unfortunately, it's a little bit, I guess, repetitive, but you can set up these paths with filters. Let's say for whatever reason, active customer, and then you can use these modifiers equal to test customer. Then it would go up this path. And then if you wanted to do a different test customer two or something on this path, you could choose a different project ID to duplicate. So you're basically using a different template. So just wanted to walk through that real quick to show you uh, the op. Hopefully this is useful for you.